Is Santa nearby? Cause shit, I've got a wish list for Battlefield 1 patch. There are seven things that I want to see come to Battlefield 1's patch. Starting out at number one is going to be medic guns being buff. Holy cow, there's like a lot of guns that I could use but can't use because they're just not relevant. There's only like three guns at max that I can use and actually stay competitive. However, the rest of them are just shit. Fix it. Buff them. Yeah. I understand that you want to try and make it a lot of variants or, or whatever. However, make them usable. I don't understand how you guys go and make a game and then test it out enough to realize that the rest of those guns are just complete ass. Because the small magazines and then the like little power that it does just doesn't make any sense. So come on. Let's get a buff on those guns so this way they're a little bit more competitive and can keep up with the other classes that have fully automatic weapons. Number two on the list is going to be that pesty freaking heavy tank. Yeah. I hate that thing, and here's why. You can jump in that tank, and you can go on a rampant just kill streak and never die the entire game. I've seen 60 pluses, 50 pluses, 70 pluses. You name it, it's out there. You can look on YouTube and see them yourself, so you don't have to see it actually in-game, in-person for yourself. Here's why. Because whenever you're driving that tank around, just like any other one, you can heal it, right? No big deal. However, in this particular one, the heal mechanic where you select the fast heal that I think is in pretty pretty much all the other vehicles allows you to heal really quick obviously giving you 20 or 30% more damage I mean 20 or 30% more health that needs to be nerfed taken away from that heavy tank because Jesus Christ it's already like a nightmare trying to take it down with like 18 guns around the entire thing so take that out for that particular tank and you pretty much got a good nerf in my own personal opinion you ever get tired of like playing and you want to switch a server or you're done, but you don't want to you don't want to take a hit on your stats. So you finish the game out only to find that you can't quit there and not have to worry about taking a hit on your stats. Yeah, me too. That's what you need to put in there. A quit button in between menus. You already have it. It just disappears in like a matter of 3 seconds. But then you got to wait another 30 or 40 seconds before you can even quit. Yeah, sure, you can go to the dashboard and cancel the game out there, but that shouldn't be something you have to do. There should be a way of backing out to go to the main menu without having to do all that or taking a hit on your stats. So let's keep that quit button in there for like up until the last three seconds before the match starts. Sounds good to me. Do you know when the last time you got a pa uh, battle pack was? Yeah, me either because it's random. That's the thing that I hate about this battle pack system. This is going to be coming in at number four. Battle packs. We need to figure out a system in which it makes sense when you earn a battle pack. My wife will earn like seven in a row and I don't earn any. Or I'll earn like seven in a row and she don't earn any. Wanna know why? Because again, it's random. Joe Schmo can join in the game with only two minutes left and get the, rent, uh, get the battle pack and you'll play the entire 23 or 30 minute game depending on which game mode you're playing and he get, you don't get it. You, he gets it, you don't. And it's just stupid because battle packs are actually pretty cool to get in this game because you got some awesome skins out there, the legendaries that I really want to collect, and I can't get them because I'm not getting those stinking battle packs. So let's put a system together. It makes sense. Number five, operations in the server browser or browsing server, whichever. It doesn't matter. Put it in there. As of right now, when you go to browse for servers or browse these servers, the one particular game mode that's actually really fun, other than Conquest, is Operations, and it's not in there. So let's put it in there. And take out that pesky freaking video that plays at the beginning of each one. That lags. Like, every time it lags, it's just shitty. Everybody's seen it. No one cares. Let's just get us in the game. How about that? Let's take out that video, and let's just get us in the game. Okay, it's the most annoying thing in the world. At first, it was awesome for like the first three seconds before you see the first lag, and then the rest of it was filled with a bunch of lagging. So... Well, let's take that out. Let's put operations in server, I mean browsing servers, so this way I can pick which server I want to be in, so I'm not end up in a European server where I'm bouncing all over the place looking like a little girl skipping because I'm lagging it. Number six. These last two are going to be pretty annoying, but number six definitely almost takes the cake. You're playing a support, you're playing as a medic, one of the two. You go to throw down a medic or support pack, and the guy's like, here goes your, your medic, or here goes your ammo, right? But it never went down. That's annoying. 
How about we not do that? Because a lot of people don't pay attention to it not going down. They'll throw it down thinking they did, trying to be a teammate, and they run off. So then you have Joe Schmo trying to follow up behind him, telling them they don't have it by doing a little jump around thing and, you know, give me some ammo or give me some health. And the guy is looking at him like, already did, moron, but it didn't. So you both die because no one's paying attention to the, run, the bad guy running in front of you. So let's get that fixed. And the last one, number seven. The last thing we definitely need to make sure we get fixed. This has killed me and my wife I don't know how many times. You go to revive someone, and that person gets revived, obviously. They stand up. There's a person sitting in front of them. I don't know why many people you know, revive you when there's other people in the room. Maybe they didn't know. Whatever. They're trying to be a teammate. I'm not going to argue with it. You stand up. You go to shoot them after you've been revived, and you can't. Your gun won't aim down sights. It only looks down the side of the weapon, not actually down the iron sights or the optic that you might have, and you can't shoot. So you have to switch to your your secondary and then switch back just to be able to aim down sights, which is going to get you killed. I can't even say nine times out of ten because I don't even know a chance or time where I was able to kill the person that I was able to do that to because if they're looking at you, you're dead. So fix that little bug. Make it where you get revived, your gun is usable. And that's all I have for today. So go ahead and leave a comment down below on some things that you would like to see in the patch. And I will see you guys next time.